so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, hey, hey! Look at where I'm at now! Right now, I'm at CARES in Burien, Washington. Yeah! C-A-R-E-S! CARES! Yeah! CARES is an animal shelter. Yeah, this is where the animals live until maybe someone like you comes down to then adopt the pet. These pets need a new home. Let's see what pets are inside. Do you see this dog? Yeah, this is a really small dog. It's kind of like a baby dog. <laughs> yeah, really small dogs like this. These are called puppies. <laughs> Here you go. This is Sapphire. Oh, she's such a cute kitty. Hey, Sapphire. How are you? Oh, she's so soft. This is Cuddles. <laughs> she loves to cuddle. Oh, she's so soft. And she loves to play. That was so much fun spending some time at my local animal shelter. Well, hey, even if you can't adopt a pet, you can still come down and volunteer your time. Yeah, you can come on down and pet the pets. Maybe they'll even let you walk a pooch <laughs> or play with a cat in the little cat room. <laughs> well, that was so much fun. <laughs> Right now, I'm at Pause and Relax in Burien, Washington. Yeah, it's a daycare. Ooh, Lino, does that feel good? <laughs> yeah, a daycare that has a playground. You know, a playground that you get to play at? Yeah, this is a doggy playground, and Lino and I are playing here. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we let Lino run around? Whoa, and playgrounds are a lot more fun when there's a lot of friends. <laughs> Let's bring on some doggy friends. <laughs> Whoa, look at how many friends Lino has. Okay, now it's time for Lino's bath and haircut. Oh, I bet he's gonna feel so clean and so fresh after this. <laughs> All right, let's take him inside. Here we go, Lino. Check it out. Look at this pink platform. Yeah, this is what all the pooches stand on. And this is a nice purple belly strap right here. And then a neck strap. Yeah, this is called a groomer's helper. So then it makes sure that the pooch doesn't fall off the table while it's getting groomed. Hey, come check this out. Whoa, see this toolbox? 
there's a lot of things that the groomers use inside this toolbox. Wow, that is so cool. All right, first we have some shampoo. This is plum flavored shampoo. <laughs> Ooh, and it looks like we have some clippers up here. Whoa. <laughs> That's what you put on the dog's hair, and then it trims it. Ooh, this files down the nails of the dog. Let's turn it on. Whoa. <laughs> That's silly. Okay. Wow. Yeah, these, yeah, these are like scissors. Yeah but they're actually called shears. Wow, a dog's hair is a lot more fine than a human's hair. And these scissors can really cut a dog's hair really good. So let's put these on the platform. Let's put the, the red colored ones. Okay, gotta be really careful if you use these shears. Perfect, <laughs> okay. What else do we need to cut Lino's hair? Hmm, let's see. Oh, <laughs> hey, do you want a haircut? <laughs> hey, do you want a haircut? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like their hair's already cut. Oh, look at this. Wow, a comb. Yeah, just like how you and I comb our hair and brush our hair, dogs need that too. Wow. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> okay, let's put this on the platform. Okay, next to the pair of shears. All right, what else is over here? Whoa, looks like we have some sanitation spray. So then when Lino's done, you sanitize everything. So then the next dog can get its hair cut. Whoa, sugar cookies. I love sugar cookies. This is sugar cookie dog perfume. <laughs> this definitely should go over there. Check this out. Another drawer. Wow. There is a lot of cool things in this. Look at that. That kind of looks like a brush, but it doesn't look like a normal brush or a comb. This is called a slicker brush. <laughs> All right. We'll put that over there as well. Whoa, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's see. Remember from earlier these clippers up here? Yeah, see this? These are clipper attachments. You put them on the top and then that is what determines the length of hair. See that compared to way shorter. <laughs> okay, let's bring this and a green attachment. Whoa. <laughs> All right. I think we have everything we need <laughs> to cut Lino's hair. All right. So we have clippers, shears, scissors, <laughs> A comb, some dog perfume, <laughs> and a slicker brush. There's a lot more things in there that we'll probably use, but for now, this is good. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa, look at Lino! They took off so much hair. Look! <laughs> Whoa! This is a bunch of Lino's hair. <laughs> wow, it's so soft. Ah, oh, yeah, I could make a pillow out of this. Woo! <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey! <laughs> you like Lino's hair? Does it smell good? <laughs> it's so silly. Oh, look, Lino's all done. <laughs> How does he look? 
Look at those big fluffy ears. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow! Woo! And look at his spooky bandana! <laughs> oh, there's some pumpkins on it. Ooh, and it looks like a llama with a cape. <laughs> wow. All right, Lino. We can go home now. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat, and then they can be part of your family. <gasps> There's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. This is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can okay. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> So sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout, what a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. Let's see, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Aww. Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa. Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. They need a lot of things. Oh, and is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food, bowls, uh, litter box, litter, um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a <laughs> safe carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes. Yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. Oh, people yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us, and yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, Oh, And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aww. So, so sweet. What's this? A blue, oh, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. 
Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Lisa's ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi. So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring in there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart. And super cute. <laughs> Are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat, patio, it's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm, will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay, whoa, look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. There's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. <gasps> I wonder if they're best friends. <laughs> Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. <laughs> There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. See some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh. <gasps> I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh. This cat is taking a cat nap. Whoa, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out. I'm in a cat room. This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa. I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? 
Whoa. Do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. There's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, please don't bother me. I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who Come is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. How old is Memphis? He's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh, wait, is Memphis? From Memphis? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Aww, it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> you have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aww, it's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun, getting to hang out with dogs and cats today. We learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here at Dogwood Canyon Nature Park in Lampy, Missouri. <laughs> You and I get to go horseback riding. <laughs> yeah! We're gonna get to see some horses and feed them yummy snacks and even go for a ride. Woohoo! This is gonna be so much fun! Come on! Whoa! Check it out! We're here inside the stables and I can't wait to meet all the cute horses here. <laughs> hey, do you know what sound a horse makes? <laughs> yeah! They make a neighing sound, kind of like this. Hey! <laughs> oh, can you make a neighing sound too? <laughs> yeah, awesome, good job. Hey, I have an idea. Let's act like horses together. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Time to do some trotting and some galloping. <laughs> Nay! Whoa! <laughs> well, that was pretty silly. <laughs> Ooh, but maybe there's a horse we can go say hello to. Oh, well, look. <laughs> oh, hello there. Hi. <laughs> oh, oh, hi, what's your name? My name's Chance. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Chance. I'm Blippi. <laughs> and who is this? This is Max. Whoa, hi, Max. Can I give Max a pet? You sure can. I'll even let you give him a treat. Oh, okay. Ooh, hi. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Just hold your hand out flat. Yeah. What kind of treat is that? That's an alfalfa cube. 
I'm getting ready to feed him. Would you like to come? Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Max is one cute horse, and we definitely want to make sure Max has all the yummy food. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's a giant tractor. <laughs> Whoa, Chance, what's this for? We needed to carry all this hay to feed the horses. Oh yeah, there's a lot of hay over here. And horses love to eat it up. <laughs> well, you think I could drive the tractor? You sure can. You want to jump out there and follow me? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, and I've driven a lot of tractors before. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. <laughs> here we go. another horse. Ah, oh, you are so beautiful. <laughs> oh, and what what's this horse's name? This is Charlie. Oh, hi, Charlie. <laughs> can I give Charlie a pet? You can. You <laughs> sure can. Okay. Hi, Charlie. Ah, <laughs> oh, you are so sweet. <laughs> oh, and what kind of horse is Charlie? Charlie is a paint horse. Oh, a paint horse. Whoa. <laughs> you see, Charlie is the color white and the color brown. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. A paint horse that's two different colors. Like someone painted Charlie. <laughs> uh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, and Charlie is so soft too. Whoa. <laughs> well, look, Charlie has some hair. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, that's the horse's mane, right? Yes, it is. Whoa, whoa. Charlie, you have a beautiful mane. <laughs> oh, well, Chance, do you think I could go on a ride? Yeah, if you'll let me. I think he's about done with his breakfast here and we'll <laughs> take oh, him yeah. out and <laughs> saddle him up. Yum! <laughs> Whoa, okay. Are you all done? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I think it's time to ride. So first things first, we just need to take Charlie out. Yep. Okay. <laughs> here, I can take this. You want to take that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I'll grab him. Ooh. Step back a little bit. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> here comes Charlie. <laughs> Whoa. Can you do me a favor? Sure. And go get that other cross tie over there? Okay. <laughs> oh, here you go. Thank you. Walk way around him. Oh, yeah. You don't want to get too close. <laughs> Ooh, and here you go. <laughs> oh. Charlie is so beautiful. Well, before we ride, what do we need to do first? Well, we gotta brush him. Mm, yeah, we want to make sure Charlie is nice and clean. Ah, <laughs> yeah, and it's also important to check the hooves. Yeah, where the horseshoes are, <laughs> in case a rock or some dirt got there. Oh, Ooh. And are these what the things we're gonna use? Yeah, we've. Whoa, we have a brush, right? <laughs> That's a brush, and then the other's a curry comb. Whoa, a curry comb? Mm-hmm. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Yeah, it has all kinds of little edges, zigzags on it. Hmm. And what is this used for? That's to knock the dirt and the mud off. Whoa, yeah, off the bottom of the hooves. <laughs> okay, well, what should we do first? Well, let's first let's groom him where the saddle's gonna go, everywhere where we put the saddle. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> go like that. Ah, <laughs> it's so fun to brush, Charlie. Ah, yeah, and we wanna clean off this area because the saddle is gonna go on top and we don't want it to be uncomfortable for Charlie. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that looks pretty good to me. <laughs> Next, we need to check his feet for dirt and debris. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna see if he'll pick his foot up here for me. Whoa, Whoa that's pretty dirty. <laughs> Whoa, we definitely wanna get some of that off. Well, look, and you see on the bottom of the hoof, there's a horseshoe. Well, why do horses need horseshoes? Because it keeps the rocks from hurting their feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's nice and comfy walking around. <laughs> Whoa, we brushed Charlie and we cleaned off the hooves. So what do we need to do next? Next, we need to saddle him up. Okay, well, let's go get a saddle. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here in the saddle room. <laughs> oh, and Chance, why do we need a saddle? 
And because it helps you balance and then it helps keep your horse comfortable. Oh yeah, you definitely want to make sure the horse is nice and comfy. And it's nice if you're comfy too, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like there are a lot of saddles here. Looks like there's probably a lot of horses, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I think we've got 45 here. 45 horses? Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> but we just need to find one saddle for Charlie, right? <laughs> yep. Okay, well, let's see which one's Charlie's. Hmm. Looks like, looks like there are names. See, Smoke and Coriente and Alex. <laughs> Whoa, look at this one. Blue. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> and do you see it? Charlie, <laughs> yeah. We found Charlie's name. Oh, well, Chance, does that mean that this is Charlie's saddle? That is his tack. Whoa, yeah. Well, is it okay if I take it down? Yeah, go ahead. Be oh. careful though, it's heavy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. This is really, really heavy. <laughs> yeah, look, it's really heavy and it has a seat. Hmm. And what's this here? That's a saddle horn. That's what you can hold on to if you need to. Well, yeah, definitely helps to keep you balanced. <laughs> whoa, and what are these here? That'll be what you put your feet in. Those are called your stirrups. Whoa, look, stirrups. Whoa, yeah, you can just slide your shoe in right there. So you're nice and balanced and your feet aren't going all over the place. <laughs> oh, and what's this here? That's a saddle pad. That helps cushion the horse's back from the saddle. Whoa, yeah, it's nice and squishy, <laughs> really soft. So when you put on a heavy saddle, it's nice and comfy. Well, I think we should probably take these over to Charlie. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, <laughs> hi, Charlie. <laughs> Whoa. So first we want to put on the saddle pad and then, ooh, maybe can you can take help that me. from you. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> and then we put on the saddle. Whoa. See. Here we go. Whoa. Ah, oh, Charlie, that's a nice looking saddle you have over there. <laughs> so it looks like we need to put the saddle on the saddle pad and then Drop it in. <laughs> see. Whoa. So we put some straps under Charlie's belly, but what's this right here? This is a breast collar. Whoa. And what is that supposed to do? Keeps it from sliding too far side to side. Mm hmm. Yeah. If you're on a saddle on a horse, you want to be nice and safe. You don't want to be too wobbly, because that could be uncomfortable for the horse, and it might be uncomfortable for you, too. <laughs> Aw, Charlie, you are so sweet. <laughs> Thanks for letting us go on a ride with you. Oh, so there are one, two straps we want to do? Three straps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah, you don't want to forget the front. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, it looks like we've finished saddling Charlie. <laughs> and now what do we want to do next? You want to go ride? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go take Charlie out and go for a ride. <laughs> Whoa. Can't wait to ride, Charlie. <laughs> oh, good thing I have on my helmet. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we're out here in the arena <laughs> and think we're just about ready to start riding. So what's the first thing I need to do? Okay, first thing, let him know that you're coming up here. Okay. <laughs> Give him a nice pat on the neck. Aw, oh, Charlie, I'm gonna get up in the saddle. <laughs> okay, now let's put that foot. Okay. All the way up here, grab your saddle horn. Okay. And then big quick up and over. Whoa, <laughs> thanks Charlie. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Whoa, okay. this is so fun. Now sit nice <laughs> and even up there. Whoa, and then I hold the reins like this, right? Yep. Okay. And if I wanna go forward, what do I say first? You're gonna say walk up and give him a squeeze and then a kick with your legs if you need to. Okay, walk up. Whoa, good, Charlie. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and if I want to stop, what do I say then? You're going to say, whoa, and pull back on the ring. Whoa. Aw, <laughs> oh, Charlie, you are such a good horsey. <laughs> well, this is so fun. Now I think it's time to go for a ride. <laughs> you ready to go out on the trail? Let's do it. Okay, time to go to the trail. Here we go. <laughs> Woo. Whoa, check it out! We're here on the trail. 
Whoa, Charlie, you're such a good horse. Oh, and Chance, thanks for riding with us. You're welcome, glad to have you out. <laughs> yeah, oh, and what's your horse's name? This is Smoke. Oh, hello, Smoke. Ah, <laughs> oh, Smoke looks like a good horsey too. <laughs> Whoa, so nice to be out here on the trail. And it's getting a little bit warmer too. If you notice, the green leaves are starting to change colors. Yeah, some of the green leaves are turning yellow or orange or red. <laughs> oh, Chance, can you ride on the trail in all kinds of weather, like snow? Yeah, you just gotta watch for it being too slick. As long as the, the ground's firm, then you can ride. Oh, that definitely sounds fun, riding in the snow. But <laughs> I like this weather better. <laughs> it's not too cold. <laughs> Today was awesome, yeah. We learned how to groom and saddle a horse. <laughs> and we met Charlie, we even got to go for a ride. Oh, and Chance, thank you so much for teaching us all about horses today. <laughs> Thanks for riding with me, come back and see us. <laughs> oh, I certainly would love to. <laughs> oh, and I'll see you too, Charlie. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Philippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And today we're at the Wenatchee River Institute. Yeah, it's an environmental learning center. <laughs> and today, you and I are gonna take my binoculars and find some birds. Do you like birds? Yeah, I like birds too. And when we explore, maybe we'll see some other neat things. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, hey, I'm just using my binoculars to search and find birds. Do you like birds? Yeah, I do too. Boo, boo, chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> oh, birds are so cool. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to be able to fly? Yeah, well, hey, check these out. These are my binoculars. Yeah, I use these to then be able to see the birds from afar. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're up close and personal with them. So then you can give them their space, which they deserve, but you can see them from afar. Do you see any birds around here? Oh yeah, there it is. Do you see it? Wow, what color bird is that? Oh yeah, you're right. It's the color yellow. Whoa, what a beautiful bird that is. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't I open the bird book and see what kind of bird that is? Hmm, not that bird. Hmm, not that bird. Oh yeah, here it is. That's totally the bird. This is an American goldfinch. Whoa, it's so cute. It's the color yellow. Hey, and it says here that this is the state bird of Washington, which is where we're at right now. Yeah, in Leavenworth. <laughs> Whoa, okay, it's about five inches. That's about 13 centimeters. Hmm, <laughs> cute little one. <laughs> um. It says four to six eggs. Interesting, okay. Seeds and insects that it eats. Yum. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and it says that they always are in, almost always, in small flocks. Wow, that must mean that there must be more of them around here. That is so exciting. Well, and they migrate with about 20 other birds. Well, 
<laughs> they are so cool. <laughs> All right, I am gonna continue to explore. <laughs> Find any more birds? Huh? Do you see any birds anywhere? What? You see a bird? Where? Oh, you're right, right there. Whoa! Do you hear that? Yeah! This must be a woodpecker. I love woodpeckers. Okay, let me get out my bird book and see what kind of woodpecker this is. Wow, what a magnificent bird. Okay, let's see here. Oh, uh, no, not that one. <sighs> oh, yeah, this looks like it. This must be a downy woodpecker. Wow, it's about six inches or 15 centimeters tall. It's actually pecking the tree to find insects or maybe to make shelter. Wow. <laughs> It lays about three to five eggs. Okay. Hmm. It eats insects, seeds. Mm, yeah, insects and seeds. That's a pretty good diet. <laughs> wow, what a cool bird that is. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't I use my binoculars to take a closer look? There it is. Wow. That is such a beautiful bird! Wow! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let's put these back and let's see if we can find some more birds. <laughs> see ya! Oh, wow! Hasn't this been fun finding all these birds together? Yeah, I sure do love birds. Hey, check this out. Wow, this is a pine tree and some birds love hanging out on this type of tree. Huh, I wonder if there's any birds around here. Hmm. Let's see, let's use our binoculars. Huh, let's see here. Oh. Right there, there's a bird. Do you see it? Wow, what color of bird is that? Yeah, it looks like it has a black head. And then there's some white on it. And there's some gray. Okay, let's use our bird book to see what kind of bird this is. All right, oh. <laughs> all right, let's see, not that one. Nope, not that one. Um, let's see here. There's so many different types of birds. Oh, oh, I think I found it. Yeah, this is it. This is a black capped chickadee. Whoa, it's so cute. <laughs> wow, so it's about five inches or 13 centimeters in height. Yeah, they uh, lay about five to seven eggs. Hmm, that's a good amount of eggs. Okay, and huh, seems like they need to feed every single day of the winter. Whoa, they eat a lot of food. <laughs> wow, and you can maybe find these in your backyard around here in Washington State. Wow, it's a common backyard bird. <laughs> wow, what a cool bird. <laughs> Wow, this has been so much fun exploring and finding these birds. <laughs> Do you see any birds around here? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I can't either. What if we use the binoculars to get a closer look? <laughs> All right. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
What a beautiful bird. All right, let's explore this bird book and see what kind of bird it is. Hmm, let's see. Not that bird, not that bird. Yeah, right here. This is a cedar wax ring. Whoa, what a cute bird. Well, says it's about seven and a half inches. That's about 19 centimeters. <laughs> oh, let's see. It lays about four to six eggs. Hmm, that's a good amount of eggs. And uh, it eats cedar cones, fruit, and insects. Wow, what a great bird. I love the cedar wax wing. <laughs> All right. Let's put the book away. Let's let the bird be and let's go explore some more. Come on. Wow. This has been so much fun finding all these birds with you. Do you like birds? Yeah. Birds are so cool. I love how they have wings and feathers. <laughs> well, hey, I have another really fun thing for us to do together. All right, check this out. These are all the things we need to make our very own bird house and to paint it. Okay, first, let's take this piece of wood and let's put the two walls up. Yeah, perfect. There we go. <laughs> and now, we have the front door. Oh, oh, <laughs> you have to line everything up. Oh, there we go. Wow, perfect, look. Oh, hey, what is that? Yeah, that is a heart. Whoa, and that heart is how the bird goes inside the birdhouse. <laughs> All right. Let's put the back door on. Here we go. Line it up. Oh, perfect. There we go. Little tricky, but it works. <laughs> All right, there we go. What are we missing? Yeah, the roof. <laughs> okay, now we have one piece right here. There we go. Okay, now we have a second piece. Check that out. Now we have a birdhouse. Okay, now we're gonna need to tie this string on the top. See the string? And if we tie it right through here and then the birdhouse, we're going to be able to put on a tree limb. Yeah, just like we're gonna be able to hang it on a tree limb, and then the birds are gonna have their very own house. Oh, it looks so cozy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, we're not done yet though. We have some painting to do. I have a paintbrush. And I have some paint. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, let's dip the paintbrush in there. Now that we have the color orange, now we can paint on the side. I'm gonna put a letter. Okay, what letter does it look like? Looks like an I or an L, but we're not done yet. Here we go. Yeah, you're right. It's the letter B. B for bird. <laughs> yeah, because we saw so many birds today. Okay, let's rinse out our brush. Now we have a B on this side and let's make another thing, another design on this side. That's my second favorite color. Well, they're actually tied. 
<laughs> yeah. Blue and orange. Here we go. All right. This, we're going to draw another letter. Okay. Here we go. Can you guess what letter? Yeah, looks like an I or an L again. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I did another B. Yeah. B for Blippi this time. Whoa. We have B for Blippi. And B for Bird. <laughs> All right. Now it's time to go find this birdhouse a tree limb. So then the birds can have their own home. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check it out. It's the perfect tree for the perfect birdhouse. Wow, this is a pine tree. See all these long pine needles? Yeah, some birds love hanging out by this type of tree. So let's put the birdhouse right here. This looks like a great limb to put it on. Yeah, just like that. Whoa, does that look cozy or does that look cozy? <laughs> yeah, it looks cozy. <laughs> if I was a bird, I'd definitely want to hang out in there. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I. P P R Flippy. Good job. All right, now I'm gonna go home. <laughs> oh, I can't fit. Whoa. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> I am so excited to learn about penguins. <laughs> Yeah, these are penguins, and they're actually humble penguins. Oh, they are so cute. Hello. <laughs> these penguins, yeah, their native land is Peru and northern Chile. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a cold place. Those countries are actually really warm. So these penguins live basically in the desert. <laughs> This penguin likes my suspender. Oh, tickles. Hey. Oh, this penguin is so soft. <laughs> yeah, since penguins are birds, they have a lot of feathers. And these feathers are really small and dense on its body. Oh, hey, cutie. <laughs> and do you see its wings? Yeah, its wings actually are more like flippers because then they can swim super fast in the water. And actually, penguins actually can't even fly with their wings. That's okay, because you're a really good swimmer. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Do you see how this penguin doesn't have stripes? Yeah, there's just teeny little black dots. Hey, and the one right behind it, yeah, there's those big black stripes. That one is an adult. So front one is a child and the back one is an adult. Whoa, hey. <laughs> They're almost the same size though. <laughs> How are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Cause I sure am. <laughs> Whoa, do you see these penguins? Yeah. They look like cute pets, don't they? Yeah, but they're actually not. Penguins don't make good pets. Although they're nice, yeah, they're living at the zoo so we can take care of them and we can learn about them. And the more we learn about these cute humble penguins, the better we can take care of their cousins around the world. <laughs> Whoa, penguins? Yeah, we're behind the scenes at the aquarium and we're gonna meet some penguins, come on. Okay, 
Let's walk nice and slow and we'll be very quiet as well. Ooh. Hey, who are you? Hutch. Ooh, this is Hutch. Hey, and what do you do here? I work with the penguins and reptiles. Ooh, the penguins and the reptiles. Oh, do you see the penguins back there? Oh, no. Are these your only two penguins here? Oh, no, we have more friends that are coming. Would you like to grab a toy? We're actually going to play with them. Sure. Okay, let's grab a toy and let's see some more penguins. Look over there. movement with their toys. So we have Violet that has already come over to say hi. It, it looks like it's enjoying my shadow, huh? That does happen. So penguins really like contrasting colors. They also can see colors really well. They have rods and cones in their eyes just like we do. Okay. They're kind of, although they're birds, they're kind of acting like kitty cats, huh? Just a little bit. They do like to play with a lot of different types of toys. And just like kitty cats, they tell us when they want to be touched. Okay. Huh. Interesting. It's pretty cool. Hey, get a closer look. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> but penguins are so silly. So where are these penguins from? These penguins are from South Africa. Okay. And we have 32 of them here. 32 penguins here. And these are from South Africa? Yes. Not Antarctica? Not Antarctica. They're actually one of several species of penguins that prefer the warm climate. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Warm climate and penguins. I guess you learn something every day. <laughs> okay, let's take a seat right over here. And then Hutch is going to bring a penguin over. <laughs> I'm so excited. I get to touch a penguin. Ooh, hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to touch the penguin with two fingers gently on its back. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Okay. Oh. It felt so soft. Did you know penguins have 70 feathers per square inch? Yeah, they're really small and really dense. Can I touch the again, Hutch? Yes, you can. Okay. Does that feel good? You like that? She's showing off for you. What does that mean when she shakes her head? So that means she's really happy, uh, and you might be her new boyfriend. Ooh. <laughs> I hope she doesn't want a kiss. <laughs> guys, we're getting ready to feed the penguins today. So we have some of their favorite fish. These are called ocean smell, also known as silver sides, because they have that silver stripe on their side. And I have herring, it's silver like an anchovy and sardines, just like they eat in the wild. Okay, you guys ready to eat? Even hungry. I'm gonna try and feed the penguins. <laughs> All right. Whoa! Look at these fish. Whoa! If I was a penguin, I would sure want to eat this. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Oh! <laughs> Here you go, penguin. Here's another one. Hey, there you go. Oh! <laughs> that one must be really hungry. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Alright, 
So these fish are a lot smaller. Here you go. Oh, perfect. You want another one? <laughs> Here's another one. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, penguins. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, you're hungry. <laughs> Fish are nice and healthy for these penguins. Ah! <laughs> All right. Yeah, just like how we eat fruits and vegetables. Yeah, they love fish. <laughs> um, how about you? You haven't had one? Oh, whoa. There's so many penguins that want food. <laughs> there you go. Oh, whoa. All right, there you go. That one right here is so hungry. They have gotten so many of the fish. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, penguins, get ready. Well, it sure has been a lot of fun learning about penguins with you. But this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Today, I am at a giant ranch with my good friends, Axe family. Howdy, everyone. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun because we're gonna check out some horses, cows, and other fun ranching stuff. Hey, Blippi, why don't you go to get a saddle and we'll saddle up. <gasps> Woohoo! This is gonna be fun. Look at where we are. We are inside a real cow barn. <laughs> Axe family's gonna bring in the horse, and in the meantime, I'll show you around. <gasps> Look, this is where cow dogs stay. Here's another one. Ah, <laughs> come on. Oh, and another one. Look, come here. Must be out working because the door's open. The cowboys must have got him. But look, hello. No one's in there. <laughs> Look at this. Hey! No, really. Hey! This is hay. And it's so tasty looking. <laughs> Just kidding. Tasty to cows and horses, not to humans. Whoa! <laughs> oh, do you see that? Look. Take a really close look. Whoa! <laughs> Yummy! Squeeze 
shoot, and a head catch! <laughs> this is where the livestock go, right over here, to go to the doctor and get all their vaccinations. <laughs> It's like a wheelbarrow, but it's really flat. This is what you put the hay on, wheel it out there, and then go feed it to the cows. Whoa! 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 I just got really dizzy. Okay. One last place. Come in here. Whoa. This is the tack room. Look. Whoa. All these saddles. Okay, in order to ride a horse, I need your help. Let's pick our favorite saddle, okay? Come on. This one? Nah. This one? Nah. <gasps> yeah! This one looks like a great one. Okay, but first, we need a horse pad. These up top. <gasps> oh, come here. Look at this one. Do you know what color this is? Yeah, one of my favorite too. Blue. <laughs> okay, let's grab this horse pad. And we'll grab this one right here. And then... We also need a bridle. Come on. Okay, got the bridle. Let's put it on the saddle. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Hey, thanks, Blippi, for grabbing the tack. Yeah. Why don't you hand me the saddle pads? All right. We'll those put those on first. Saddle pads? What do those do? Saddle pads go on underneath your saddle to put some cushion for the horse. The saddle is what the cowboy sits in. Okay. And so this goes on the horse after the pads and it'll strap onto the horse so that the rider will have a place to sit. The bridle Ooh. or the head stall. Okay. And a, a cowboy or cowgirl uses a bridle to steer the horse. Ooh, like a steering wheel. <laughs> so, like this. And then over its ears, like this. And wow. you control the bridle with what we call reins. Oh. So these are the steering wheel to the horse. Okay. Well, does that mean that I'm ready to steer the horse? I think so, Blippi. <laughs> All right, Blippi, your turn. All right. Huh? Hey. Whoa. Okay. Well, here I go. Have a good ride. Thanks. Here I go. Whoa. This horse is dark brown. <laughs> she is so beautiful. This horse's name is Fancy, and she is so fancy. That was so much fun. Not only is Fancy a beautiful animal, but we use her and the other horses as workhorses to move cattle around the ranch. That was sure a blast riding a horse. Let's go see what else there is on this great ranch.
the four-wheeler with me. Isn't this fun? Whoa! On the ranch, there's so many great useful machines, like this four-wheeler. And... <laughs> like this! This giant dump truck! Woo! And this medium-sized backhoe. And now for their biggest machine at the ranch. Now that's a big machine. Woo! Now that the skidgen is parked and it's safe to get up really close, my good friend Cody from Axe Family... Hey everybody! <laughs> he'll show you around! Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go! Okay, so this skidgen is actually used for fighting wildfires. It's, it's like a fire truck and a monster truck combined. You see these big tires? This is just like a monster truck tire. Look how huge it is. These are so the skidgen doesn't get stuck when it's out in the wilderness. Let's go up here to the front. Up here we have the plow and we have the brush guard. And this goes down to the ground and it pushes and it clears all the brush and it makes a fire line so that when the fire comes to the fire line, it'll stop. Come on here to the back. In the back we have a giant water tank. Right here, this is full of water. It's about 1,100 gallons of water. And there's a hose reel right here. And this red hose, you can pull it out and run it out to a fire and put it down. There's also a turret up on the top that spins around and sprays water. But before I show you that, let's go on inside the cab. All right. So now we're on the inside of the skidgen. Let me show you around. This is the steering wheel, and this is basically what's used to drive the skidgen around. And if you look right up here, this is the dash, where all the gauges are. And if you press on this button right here, that's the horn. You see that? Now look down here by my feet. This is the brake pedal, and this is the gas pedal. And then right here, there's this little lever. This controls the blade up at the front of the skidgen. Let me show you the coolest part. This is the joystick that controls the water cannon. Watch, I'm gonna spray some water. all the animals. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh, look at this one. This is a cow. <laughs> and a horse. Ooh. And a pig. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Okay, now that we're on a farm, let's see what other things we can find on the farm. Well, we saw animals already. Let's go. Bye-bye! <laughs> we lost the wagon! Whoa! Whoa! Look! We found some... We found a potato! We must be on a potato farm today! Potato! Ooh! And what are all these? A yellow hat. Okay. Ooh, there we go. And... Ooh, some eyeballs. <laughs> Gotta be able to see. Ooh, those are upside down. Okay. And, ooh, we have a red tongue. Oh, nope, that's the nose, actually. But we do have a red tongue. Put that right there. Ooh, it's starting to look like a potato head. And green feet or shoes. And pink ears. Uh, uh, ah. <laughs> ooh, are we missing something? 
Yeah! Ooh, look, down here. Two white arms. Put one right there. <laughs> and one right there. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> okay, you stay here, Mr. Potato Head. Let's go over here. Whoa! Whoa! Another potato head! Woo! <laughs> okay. Ooh, we got a blue hat this time. Oh, I'm Optimus Prime! I oh, no, no. do no! Do, do, do. Ooh, an arm with orange and blue goes on this side. Perfect. And another one. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Two eyes. One, two. Put them right there. Ooh, look at that orange nose. Put it right there. <laughs> and, ooh, look at the smile. <laughs> okay, let's put that right here. And last but not least, some green shoes. Or er, blue shoes. <laughs> I said they were green. But these are blue. <laughs> okay, see what else we can find. Here's another one. Look, another potato head. Okay, we have some gray feet and a blue hat. Ooh, a police officer's hat. See? Wow. And, whoa, a really big beard. Okay, and an orange nose again. Okay, there we go. Oh, what a cute nose. And, ooh, a couple arms. Let's put those up like this. Whoa, <laughs> it fell out. Did you see that? Okay, let's put it right there. Hello, okay, and, ooh, we forgot the ears. Oh, the ears are falling out. Let's see? Okay. And then the eyes. Okay. <laughs> it keeps falling out. There we go. All right. Now we're all finished. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. Here we go. What it is? Whoa! It's a tractor and a backhoe. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look! It's a giant excavator. Whoa! It's so big. Come on! <laughs> Scoop up the dirt. And another potato head. Okay, here it is. Now, a blue construction hat for the excavator. Put that on top. And a nose. And an ear. And another ear. See? Ooh. <laughs> arm ah and another white arm okay green shoes ooh put that right there and two more things we have a smile a red smile eee. <laughs> put that right there and last but not least a couple eyes okay there we go Okay, let's keep on moving. Whoa! Whoa! Yes! Oh. Green. Look at all of these potato heads. I need to sit down for this one. Okay. Ooh, look at this. This one even has eyes on it already. 
Okay. Ooh. Huh. Nice little, nice little princess hat. Hello. <laughs> Let's find some more princess stuff. And, uh, ooh. Nice high heel shoes. Perfect. Put it right there. And we already have the eyes, so let's find a nose. Um, where's a nose? Here's a nose, a pink nose. Okay, put it right there. And we need a beautiful smile. Where is a beautiful smile? Let's see here. Huh. Ooh, here's a beautiful smile. Hee. Ooh. <laughs> okay. There she is. Nice and pretty. And ooh, a really big ear. Oh, that's too big, actually. A normal size ear. There we go. And another normal size ear. <laughs> We're almost done. We just need cute arms. Ooh, here's one. This is just the hand. That will look funny. Let's put it right there. See? Short little hand. Here's another one. High five. Boop. <laughs> okay, and there we go. There is our last potato head. Whoa, she's so pretty. <laughs> well, this was so much fun finding potato heads on the farm. If you want to watch more of my videos, you know what to do. Just ask a grown-up really nicely to search for my name. Do you know my name? Yeah, it's Blippi. Let's spell it together. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right. See you again. It's me, Blippi, and today we're here at the Wildlife Explorers Base Camp at the San Diego Zoo in San Diego, California. The Wildlife Explorers Base Camp has all kinds of things that explorers need to know, like what kind of animals exist in the wild. <laughs> Will you come and explore with me? Okay, let's go! Whoa! Check it out! This place is amazing! Giant trees? Rope bridges? <laughs> I bet there are some amazing animals here. Whoa! And look at it! Binoculars? An explorer's vest? Safari hat? <laughs> I'm really starting to feel like a wildlife explorer now. <laughs> Let's start exploring! Hello! <laughs> this place is awesome! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! new animal, find two facts that are true. A challenge for Explore, Blippi, and you! Learn so much on the case, log your finds in the database. Whoa! The letter is telling you and me to go find new animals and put two new facts of each animal into the database. <laughs> Will you help me find some facts? Okay, let's go! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Ah! A 
it's wildlife ambassador Marco. Hi. Hey, Bluffy, I heard you're going to be here today. <laughs> Welcome. I am so excited to be here. <laughs> That's great. You know, we are at Wildlife Explorers Base Camp. Super fun. And there's so many different habitats. I mean, we have the wild woods. We have the rainforest, marsh meadows, and my personal favorite, the desert dunes. <laughs> Whoa. Those all sound so fun. <laughs> well, Marco, mm -hmm. I found this letter, oh. and the letter says that we need to find new animals and put two facts from each animal into the animals database. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. You know, to be a true blue wildlife explorer, you need to learn a lot about plants and animals. <laughs> well, that's good because I love plants and animals. And I love learning. <laughs> Well, Marco, is there anything we don't want to miss while we're here? Ooh, you definitely want to check out the macaws at the front of the zoo. Oh, and don't forget the rainforest. <laughs> we'll definitely go to those places. Well, I'll see you soon. Okay. Oh, and I'll check back once we've gathered all of our facts. <laughs> all right. See you, Marco. See you then. Bye-bye. When I count to three, say really loudly, release the macaws. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, Three, release the macaws! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! Whoa, did you see all of the colorful macaws? <laughs> they were so beautiful. Did you know that macaws are the largest kind of parrot? Yeah, and they come in every color of the rainbow, even orange and blue. Wait a minute. Those are two facts that we can add to the database. Do you remember what they were? Macaws are the largest kind of parrot, and they come in every color of the rainbow. <laughs> Ooh, good job. Let's go see what other animals we can find. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here at the rainforest habitat. <laughs> I can't wait to see what animals we'll find. Hey, <laughs> I think I see someone with an animal. Let's go say hi. <laughs> Whoa! Hi! Hi! I'm Blippi. What's your name? I'm Katie. Oh, hi! <laughs> and what's your name? This is Isana. Oh, hi, Isana. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Oh, Katie, what kind of animal is this? <laughs> Isana is a prehensile-tailed porcupine or a Brazilian tree porcupine. Whoa! A prehensile-tailed porcupine? Or a Brazilian tree porcupine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know porcupines could climb in the trees. They sure can. Wow, you are so cute. Oh, you see, Sana has a really big nose. <laughs> can she smell really well? She can smell really well. That's what she's going to use to find all of her food in the rainforest. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Hello, you are so cute. And what are those on her back? Those are quills. Oh, quills. Well, what's a quill? Well, a quill is a modified hair that she uses as self-defense. Oh, <laughs> quills for self-defense. <laughs> that is so cool. Well, Isana, you are so cute. <laughs> Whoa, and you said prehensile tail? You weren't kidding. That's a really big tail. <laughs> mm. Yeah, she uses it to climb around and hang on to things as she's moving around in the rainforest. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Well, Isana, I hope you're enjoying your snack. <laughs> well, thank you so much for introducing us, Katie. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, Isana. Bye, Katie. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that was amazing. We got to meet a prehensile-tailed porcupine. And we got two facts for our database. Porcupines have quills for defense. And they have really big, squishy noses that are great for smelling which is how she finds her food. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Hi, Blippi. I'm Jessica. Oh, hi, Jessica. Oh, and who is this? This is our friend Shakira. <laughs> hi, Shakira. <laughs> oh, is Shakira a snake? You know, she looks like a snake, but she's actually another type of a reptile called a lizard. So she is a legless lizard, or what we like to call Sheltapusik. Whoa, a legless lizard or Sheltapusik? <laughs> That's a cool name. <laughs> Shakira, you are really amazing. Well, Jessica, you said that Shakira is a legless lizard. Absolutely. Not a snake. <laughs> well, what's the difference between a snake and a legless lizard? I'm glad you asked. So if you look at her face, 
she actually has ear holes on the sides of her head where she oh. can hear. Snakes do not have ears. Oh. And then if you look at her eyes, she may blink for you. Lakeless lizards and other lizard species have eyelids in which snakes do not. They just have a scale that goes over their eyes. <laughs> Whoa, I probably still don't want a staring contest with Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. Whoa, and Shakira is sticking her tongue out at me. Is she yeah. saying hello? You know, she's actually smelling you. You're a new friend to her, so she wants to see if maybe you have a snack. One of her favorite <laughs> snacks is snails. Whoa, snails? <laughs> I'm sorry, Shakira. I don't have a snack today. Oh, and it looks like she likes to dig too. Does she like to live in the forest or maybe in the park? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, so these guys live in dry habitats and they live underground and that's called fossorial. Whoa, fossorial? <laughs> Whoa, that is so neat. Well, Shakira, it was so nice to meet you. <laughs> Thanks, Jessica, for teaching Bye. us. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Wow, that was amazing. We got to meet Shakira, the legless lizard. And we learned two facts that we can add to the database. Hmm, the first fact is that legless lizards, they're fossorial, which means they live underground. And they stick out their tongue <laughs> to smell. Hey, let's keep looking for new animals. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's a giant African millipede. <laughs> And it's my good friend, Lynn. Lynn is a wildlife care specialist, which means she knows a lot about millipedes. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. Lynn, this is a pretty amazing millipede. It looks like this creature has a lot of legs. Mm -hmm. Yep, she can have between two and 300 legs. Whoa, that is a lot of legs. <laughs> I only have two. One, two. <laughs> wow. And she's doing a really great job climbing up the tree. Are her feet really sticky? Uh, they're not very sticky, but she does have tiny little claws at the end of her feet that help her to climb. Whoa, do her antennas, do those help her climb too? That's actually what she smells with, so the antenna are her nose. Whoa, you see that? Yeah, the two antenna, they're sticking off, <laughs> helping her smell. Whoa, will she get any bigger? Uh, no, this is about as big as they get. She's one of the world's largest millipedes. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, and I forgot to ask, what does this millipede like for a snack? Oh, good question. She likes to live on the forest floor, and while she's down there, she's going to eat things like old rotten wood, rotten leaves, and old fruit. Ooh, <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good snack to me, but it probably sounds delicious for a millipede. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Well, thank you for all those amazing facts, Lynn. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. <laughs> wow, I can't believe we got to see a millipede up close. And we got two more facts to add to the database. Millipedes have hundreds of legs and they're decomposers, which means they like to eat things off the forest floor and clean up. <laughs> this is so amazing. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's a prairie dog, <laughs> yeah, and he's digging away. Yeah, that's because prairie dogs, they like to burrow. <laughs> and even though he might be digging like a dog, he's not a dog, <laughs> no. This prairie dog is related to a squirrel. What? <laughs> yeah, prairie dogs are really amazing creatures and they can talk about lots of things. They make all kinds of different sounds and are very good at communicating. <laughs> they can say, there's a snake over there, or there's a hawk over there, or there's a man with orange glasses and a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. This place says spineless marvels. Ooh, <laughs> I bet it's really fun to explore inside. Because it says spineless marvels, I bet there are a lot of insects and bugs. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, look at this place. 
This place is awesome! <laughs> Do you see all the insects and bugs? Whoa! <laughs> if you look at the sky, there are tons and tons of dragonflies! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> wow! This room is so cool because it makes me feel like I'm an ant! <laughs> yeah! Look! There are flowers and tall grass. <laughs> makes me feel so tiny looking up at all the insects and bugs and the clouds in the sky. <laughs> yeah! This room right here shows an ecosystem. <laughs> an ecosystem is a place where a lot of bugs and insects and animals and plants all live happily together. <laughs> see? Whoa! Flowers. <laughs> I see a spider. See a butterfly. And lots of dragonflies. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Do you see these guys? There are little beetles here. Hello, beetles. <laughs> they're so colorful. They're the colors yellow and black. <laughs> and they're called taxi cab beetles. Hey, just like the taxi cabs in New York City are yellow and black. <laughs> hmm. Speaking of the big apple, these guys love apples and oranges and bananas and all kinds of fruits. Can you see? <laughs> they're eating a tasty looking banana. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, they are so cool. <laughs> but they live really far away from me. They live all the way in Southern Africa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, they are some pretty neat looking insects. Hmm. And did you know that these insects are invertebrates? Invertebrates, <laughs> that's a pretty big name. That means they don't have a skeleton or a spine, but instead, they have an exoskeleton! <laughs> well, thanks for saying hi. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, beetles! <laughs> Whoa! That was so cool seeing taxi cab beetles up close. And we have two more facts for the database. They're the colors yellow and black, and they love fruit. <laughs> These spineless creatures are marvelous. <laughs> Check it out. It's a honeycomb. <laughs> Bees make honeycombs. Yeah, and that's where they put their honey. <laughs> Whoa. Check it out. Do you see what shape each part of the honeycomb is? Yeah, they're all hexagons, which means they have six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> mm, delicious, delicious honey. It's put inside each one of those sections. And bees are really important. Not only do they make delicious honey, but they're pollinators. That means they help other plants and flowers to grow. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here. Bzzz. It looks like there are some insects hiding here. <laughs> but I think we can play a game. It's called, Can You Find Us? <laughs> See, we need to find one, two, three, four insects. But they're camouflaged. <laughs> camouflaged means an insect is hiding in its environment. <laughs> so we have to look really closely. <laughs> Okay, let's try to find the first insect. Hmm. Do you see any insects? Hmm. Look over here. Do you see one hiding in the leaves? <laughs> yeah, look. He's right there. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> he lit up all bright and colorful. <laughs> we have three more to find. Next, let's find this insect. Hmm, this one's a different color, so keep your eyes out. Maybe it's hiding on a branch. Hmm, do you see an insect on the branch? <laughs> yeah, look, hello, he's hiding right here on the bark. 
He's doing a dance. <laughs> okay, we need to find the third insect. Hmm. Do you see it? It's also brown. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Whoa, all the insects dancing together. <laughs> now, we only have one more insect to find and then we win. <laughs> Look, really, super duper carefully. Hmm. Hmm. Do you see anything? Is it on a leaf? Maybe it's on a branch. I'll give you a hint. This insect is really, really big. <laughs> yeah, you did it. It's right here. Whoa, it's so big. Hello. <laughs> we did it. We found all the insects and now we win. <laughs> Good job. Oh, hey, Blippi, how's the exploring going? Oh, it's going great. We found so many facts already. Oh, so that's so great. And we're actually in one of my new favorite habitats. This is called Marsh Meadows. Whoa, Marsh Meadows? That sure sounds fun. <laughs> it is, isn't it? And it really talks about the importance of water for a healthy ecosystem. Whoa, hmm. what does that mean? Oh, your vitality of water is so important for so many different animals, whether you're a bird, but especially for the aquatic animals like these guys. You can check them Whoa. out. Whoa, aquatic animals? Yeah. Kind of like... Fish, definitely. And these, these guys are called angelfish. Whoa, angelfish? Whoa, do you see their fins? They have really, really big fins. <laughs> so they kind of look like angels. <laughs> That's right. That's a good observation. And not only that, they're also very colorful. <laughs> kind of talks about the diversity of animals out there, which I think is awesome. <laughs> they are so colorful. <laughs> Hello, angelfish. <laughs> Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of them. Are they living in one big family? Yeah, absolutely right. They're actually a very social fish. And as the name suggests, Angel, they're really nice fish too. <laughs> wow, you are so nice and so beautiful. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, Angel Fish. Oh, and thanks for the facts, Marco. I'm gonna keep exploring. All right. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, Bobby. Whoa, that was awesome. We learned about a new animal and we got two new facts for the database. Angel fish are colorful. <laughs> And they're very nice and live in families. <laughs> hey, Blippi. <laughs> Marco! Hey, how's it going? It's going great! We saw so many different animals and we put all the facts into the database. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful! You know, I think that makes you an official wildlife explorer. Awesome! <laughs> and I actually have a wildlife explorer badge just for you! <gasps> no way! An official San Diego Zoo wildlife explorer badge! Ha! <laughs> yeah! We did it! Now we're an official wildlife explorer. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with us? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye, Marco. See you, Blippi. I'm going to go check on the animals. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! It's me, Blippi! And look at where I'm at! Today, I'm at Pet Zoo in Cochia, Brazil! Wow! This place is awesome because they have so many cute animals that you actually get a pet! Maybe that's why they call it Pet Zoo! And today, you and I, we're gonna learn how to take care of animals! Are you ready? All right, let's go! <laughs> Did you see that? These two horses were scratching each other. Wait a second, they don't look like horses, do they? They do look like horses, but way smaller. Oh yeah, you're a pony, right? Yeah, these two ponies are actually sisters. Hey, you two are so cute. And they are so soft. 
Look at this one. This one is white. And this one is brown. Oh, do you two like me? Because I sure do like you. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Whoa, carrots. Interesting. <laughs> do you like carrots? I do too. And I heard that these ponies love carrots. Shall we see if they're hungry? Oh, here you go. Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, whoa, they are hungry. Whoa, I guess ponies love carrots. Can you think of any other animal that loves carrots? Yeah, maybe one that likes to hop? Yeah, bunnies love carrots. Here you go, here's some more. Oh, they are so nice to each other. I wonder if they like to play with each other. They definitely know how to scratch each other's backs. <laughs> here you go. Wow. <laughs> All right, here you go. Oh, and did you see this one? Yeah, look right here. Okay, let me turn it side right here. And do you see its hair? Yeah, its mane? Whoa, it's braided. Whoa, it's so cute. Oh, you don't have braided hair, but that's okay. Oh, you want food? Okay, here you go. <laughs> All right. Well, let me set this right here, and maybe I'll see you later. But if not, have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Whoa, check it out. It's so pretty right here. Wait a second, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, photo shoot. <laughs> yeah, this place is awesome. Let's keep exploring. I think I see some more animals, come on. <laughs> Hello! Whoa! This is a llama! Hey, are you hungry? Because I think I see some food. Come on, come over here! Check it out! Yeah, a big white bucket of llama food! Whoa! Here you come. Here, you can come right over here. Whoa! Llamas are so cool! <laughs> yeah, they actually. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, patience. <laughs> okay, here you go. Do you see their food? Yeah, they love this stuff. It's so tasty. I'll hold out my hand nice and flat. Whoa, can you see its teeth? Here you go. Whoa, they're so crooked. <laughs> That's okay. Here you go. Is anyone else hungry? Oh, it looks like you have some friends. They don't look as hungry as you. Here you go. Wow, do you see this llama's ears? Very big ears. I bet it can hear very well. Oh, and did you know llamas can spit? But llamas actually do it in defense. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Yeah, if they ever get scared or anything like that, they can spit. Whoa, you are so cool. Whoa, and you're so soft. Whoa, that was so much fun. All right, have a good day. Well, shall I keep exploring? Yeah, come on. Whoa, check it out. Now this is a giant bird. This is an ostrich. They're the biggest bird in the whole entire world. Whoa, hey, this, yeah, his name is Romeo. Wow, and he is so tall, even taller than me. And did you know ostriches' brains are so small, they're smaller than their eyes. Wow, they must not be very smart, right? Whoa, but they can run so fast. And did you know ostriches can't fly? Wow, who would have known? <laughs> wow, we'll see. Romeo is hungry, shall we? Check it out. Whoa, looks like we have some greeny leaves right here. Whoa, and then some pellets. Here you go. All right, Romeo, here you go. You want some pellets? Huh, maybe, here he comes. Okay, what about some green leaves? Here you go. Okay, here you go, Romeo. No, 
I guess Romeo's not hungry. <laughs> wow, they take care of their pets so well here. Yeah, a great way to take care of animals is to keep them nice and fed. And since Romeo's not hungry, someone must have fed him earlier. Oh, whoa, look, that ostrich was big. Now these birds are medium sized. Whoa, two of these are actually younger ostriches. And then two of these are emus. Yeah, yeah, it's a different type of bird. And they're medium sized. Oh, they look so soft. I wish I could pet them. Well, is anyone hungry? No, no one's hungry again? Whoa, they're taken care of very well here. Whoa, all right, see you later. <laughs> Woo, oh, that was cool. Whoa, chickens. Wow, here you go. Hey, chickens. Hey, chickens. Here you go, are you hungry? Yeah, these chickens look like they're very hungry. Whoa, what about you? Anyone else? Here you go. Whoa, I actually got special permission to go inside with these chickens. Okay, here, I'll be inside real soon, okay? <laughs> here you go, birds. Wow, they are so cute. Who's hungry, anyone hungry? Wow, chickens are so cool. Yeah, look at this one. This one is the color brown. And it sure does love this green leaf. Oh, hey, look at you, little cutie pie. Oh, this one's so small. And it's the color white. Here you go. Whoa, I love taking care of animals. <laughs> yeah, you make sure that they have a lot of water, a lot of food. Oh, whoa, and check that out. It looks like the chicken's home. This is called a chicken coop. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> whoa, yeah, this is the chicken coop. Wow, they love to hang out in here. Oh, and look at this one. Just relaxing? Yeah, I wonder if this one's sitting on some eggs. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Oh, let me set these down right over here. Whoa, and we heard, yeah, that one of these is really nice. Maybe it will let me pick it up. There you go. Hey, cutie pie. Wow, look at it. Whoa, this is a small chicken. You are so cute. Whoa, do you see it has some red on its face? Yeah, and it's black and white. Okay, I'll set you down, okay? I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Whoa, here you go. Okay, see you later. Oh, let me pick these up and let's keep exploring. Let's see what else we can find here. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun seeing that chicken coop. Yeah, whoa, check it out. This doesn't look like a chicken coop. This actually looks like where humans live. Yeah, this is called a Powapiki. Yeah, this is a traditional Brazilian house. Whoa, I'm so curious to see what it's like. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool in here. Yeah, Powapiki? Yeah, that means clay and wood. Yeah, do you see this? It's made with clay and sticks, tree branches. Whoa, even maybe stumps too. Then you combine it all and it makes the house nice and strong. It is very nice in here. Wow, Pawa Peaky House. Wow, what a cool name and what a cool house. Yeah, you can do so much in here without electricity. Pawa Peaky House Music Party. That was really fun. Well, I should probably put these back where I found them. Oh, hey, check it out. Yeah, this is the stove. How do you make heat if you don't have electricity? Fire. Yeah, you can build a fire, which then you can say boil water and make some nice tea and have a tea party. Yum. <laughs> oh, and look at this. 
Wow, what a cool device! This you can use to make cheese! Whoa! Cheese, please! Whoa! It is so cool how people can make so much with no electricity. Whoa! Well, shall I keep exploring the pet zoo? <laughs> Let's go! This has been so much fun today! And do you see what that says? It says farmhouse! Yeah, let's see what lives inside this house. Whoa! Whoa, check it out. It looks like we have some animals. Hey! And actually, they left me some food to feed them. Whoa, this is going to be nice. Speaking of nice, wow, what a great farmhouse. Hey, let me put this on. Oh, there we go. All right. Hey! Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, it looked like a goat. Oh, maybe I can bring them out here so then you can see. Here they come. Hey, goats. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you hungry? Oh, there you go. Yum. Whoa. I should probably go inside, right? Whoa. Okay. They gave me special permission to be able to come inside here. Okay. Hey, goats. Whoa. How are you? Whoa, they are so cool. Yeah, it looks like there's whoa, so many. Whoa. Hey, here's one right here. Hey, are you hungry? Whoa, how are you? Oh, you are so cute. Yeah, it's the color white. Oh, it has a little black on its head and brown. Whoa. And they said this one actually likes to get picked up. Yeah. <laughs> You are so cute. This is a baby goat and it is so soft. And look how big its ears are. I bet they can hear very well. Oh, okay. I'll set you down nice and gently. Here you go. All right, see you later. Whoa, that farmhouse was so cool. I love taking care of all these animals. <laughs> Whoa, speaking of animals. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, hey, looks like a big cow, right? Whoa, <laughs> this is actually a bull. I know it's a bull because of its antlers. Wait a second, it doesn't have antlers, it has horns. Do you see that? The difference between antlers and horns are antlers fall off of the animal. But bulls, they have horns. These stay on the bull its whole life. Whoa, are you hungry? Whoa, oh, he's so big. Here you go. You want some food? Whoa, <laughs> I felt his tongue. Oh, you are so cool. And do you see his teeth? Here you go. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, can I pet you? Oh, wow, his nose feels so nice. Whoa, what about your head? Oh, do you like pets? Yeah, some animals to take care of them. Yeah, you want to pet them and love them. Ooh, and you can even brush them. Yeah, some animals like pets. Some animals don't like pets. But this bull loves pets, right? Oh, or are you just hungry? Another way to take care of animals. Yeah, give the animals some food. Whoa, Whoa. it's so slobbery. Every time I put my hand, yeah, for food, yeah. He licks it with his tongue and pulls it in. And it gets my hand all slobbery. <laughs> all right, see you later. It was fun taking care of you today. You are so cute. <laughs> Do you like the pets? Oh, are you wagging your tail? Are you cute? Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, look right here. Yeah, remember earlier how I said you have to take care of the pens? Yeah, looks like someone took care of these pens, made sure it's nice and clean. <laughs> Whoa, hey, another animal. Whoa, ooh, this is a jumento. Here you go. Oh, are you hungry? Wow, doesn't it look like a donkey? Whoa, and the jumentos. Yeah, their cheese made from their milk is some of the most expensive cheese in the whole wide world. Okay, see you later. Yeah, I heard there's some real donkeys right over here. Wow, jumentos and donkeys, yeah, they're related to each other. But these, yeah, 
They're donkeys! Hey! Whoa, are you too hungry? Hey! Do you see how big its ears are? Oh, here you go. Oh, do you want a nice snack? What about pets? You like the pet? Did you see how it didn't love to get pet? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I don't have to pet you. Or maybe he's just pulling away because he's actually hungry. Yeah, sometimes they might actually really like pets. But right now, maybe this one just wants a bunch of food. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah, and this one's the color brown. And this one is also the color brown. Hey, ooh, you have some white on your face. Ooh, and I actually heard, yeah, this donkey's name is Juka. Yeah, you know my good friend Juka? Whoa, you two have the same name. Ooh, Juka, you love pets, don't you? You do, you do, do you? <laughs> And you also love food. Here you go. Wow, and their pen looks nice and clean. Wow, you are taken care of very well. I love taking care of animals. <laughs> All right, see you later, Yuka. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Here at Pet Zoo, they even have a playground. Whoa, I do love playing. All right, first thing I should do is probably take off my shoes, right? Oh, will you count my shoes with me? Ready? <laughs> Here's one. All right. And two. One, two. I have two shoes. Okay, let me put it right in here in those cubbies. And now it's time to play. Whoa, look at this. Looks like you climb inside. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, it's pretty wobbly. Whoa, whoa, look at how high I am up here. A big blue slide. I love slides. Okay, here I come. Whoa, whoa. I got a little stuck. Not the fastest slide, but that's okay. It was still fun. Come on. Whoa, I should probably grab my shoes. But over here, there's another fun thing to do. Come on. Whoa, cool, a trampoline. Ooh, and it's so colorful. Woohoo! yeah, I love trampolines. Hey, since we're learning about how to take care of animals today, why don't you guess which animal I'm thinking of? One that really likes to jump. Yeah, it can put its babies in its pouch right here. And you find a lot of them in Australia. Woohoo! Yeah! Look at me! I'm a kangaroo! Will you jump like a kangaroo with me? Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Boing! 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 <laughs> okay, I have another animal for you to guess. Okay? A lot of them are green around the world, but here in Brazil, yeah! They're so colorful, and they're actually pretty poisonous. And the sound that these animals make is ribbit, ribbit. Yeah, a frog. And here in Brazil, they even have colorful poison dart frogs. Woohoo! Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Whoa, frogs are so cool. I had so much fun today. Whoa, whoa, I should probably put on my shoes. I think I'm all done playing. All right, here's one shoe, and then here's two shoes. Wow, did you have fun with me? Yeah, I had fun with you too. I really enjoy taking care of animals, and I also love to play. Yeah, whoa, check it out, some water. I'm still super tired from playing. All that jumping and climbing, yeah, like animals. Oh, it's very important ah, to hydrate. Oh, today was so much fun taking care of all those animals. I sure do love animals, and it makes me so happy knowing that you love animals and you take care of all the animals. And if you have pets, you make sure that they're nice and healthy and happy. Oh. 
Well, this was so much fun. And if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Please spell my name with me. Ready? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. This has been so much fun in Brazil. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on everyone, let's make learning fun So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout Whippy!